Hi, I'm Mandy from Sneaky Veg and I'm cooking today in the Healthy Living Platform kitchen and we're going to make sugar-free banana bread. Um, this is a recipe that I often make at home with my own children and would be a great one to get your kids involved with making. Um, so first of all, I'll run through what ingredients we need. We need mashed bananas, so this is three large bananas. You need really ripe ones, so if you've got bananas that are covered in brown spots, this is a perfect use for them. I mean, it's a really good job for little kids to do. Even kids as young as two can mash the bananas with a fork or a potato masher. We need 225 grams of flour. You can use plain flour or self-raising flour or wholemeal flour, whatever kind of flour you have. We're also going to use bicarbonate of soda, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of baking powder. Um, if you're using self-raising flour, you can leave this out. Um, I'm going to add some spices. We've got ground ginger and ground cinnamon. You could also use mixed spice or whatever kind of sweet spices you have in your kitchen. Um, 100 grams of raisins we'll chuck in. This is sunflower oil, or actually it's rapeseed oil, but you could use sunflower oil. If you have coconut oil, you could use that, but you'll need to melt it first. Or you could use butter or dairy-free spread or margarine melted. And then we're also going to put in some cider vinegar, one tablespoon of this. Um, if you don't have this, you can use white wine vinegar or you can also use lemon juice. And um, the reason we use this is because we're not putting any egg in this cake um, and the uh, cider vinegar will react with the bicarbonate soda to help the cake rise a bit. So we've already mashed our bananas, so we're going to get the flour, 220 grams of flour. And I'm adding one spoonful of baking powder and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. I've tried to be very organised but I've forgotten to get a wooden spoon. So I'm back now with my wooden spoon, give that a stir. And I'm going to put in a teaspoon of ginger. teaspoon of ground cinnamon or cinnamon powder and give that a good stir and I'll just put that to the side. So in the jug I've got 775ml uh, of sunflower oil. I'm going to add some soya milk. You can use any kind of milk, plant-based or dairy, whatever you prefer. So I'm adding 75ml of that to take that up to 150 ml and I will add my tablespoon of apple cider vinegar remember you can use white wine vinegar or lemon juice and that will do the same job and then you can see that's separated in the jug just give that a good stir and add that to the flour Give that a mix. Now it's still looking quite dry. So this is where the bananas come in. So we've got our three large bananas here, which will make it nice and sweet. And we'll also add plenty of liquid for the batter. These bananas that I'm using today have been frozen, so we didn't want to waste them. So we chopped them up and put them in the freezer, and that's a great use for overripe bananas. You can even make ice cream out of them if you have a blender and blend frozen bananas. They go really creamy. So you can see that's mixed to a nice batter now. And then just to add a bit of extra sweetness and some texture, we're adding 100 grams of raisins. You can use any dried fruit you have, chopped dates, chopped apricots, dried cranberries, dried cherries. They will all be delicious. And then I've got um, a loaf tin here, which I've lined with baking paper. I like to put the paper just a little bit higher than the side of the tin, and that means when it's baked, it's quite easy to lift out. Um, you can also make this recipe as cupcakes, um, if you have cupcakes or fairy cake cases at home. And sometimes that is more exciting for little kids to make. Um, they can help put the cases into the tins as well. Um, you just need to reduce the cooking time a bit. So this will make 12 to 15 cupcakes um, and you need to cook them for about 20 minutes or maybe 25 minutes. 
graphite. So I've scraped that out into the loaf tin. I'm just going to smooth that over on the top. I've preheated my oven already to 200 degrees and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes. I'll check it after 30 minutes um, with a fork or a sharp knife or a skewer if you have one and see whether it comes out dry. If not, then I'll put it back in for another 10 minutes or so. Okay, back in a bit. <laughs> okay, so the banana bread's out of the oven. That took about 40 minutes. Um, it's nice and golden brown on the top. And if you press it, you'll see it kind of springs back a bit. You can also test it with a skewer if you have one or a sharp knife and just check that it comes out nice and clean. Enjoy!